Azura is my shield, you foul creatures. Thank you for aiding me, but I sense you came for a different purpose. Let's talk inside the cavern. be another way. No, my lady, of course not. I'll do as you ask. Come here, Outlander. We must talk. It feels strange to talk to an Outlander in such a sacred place, but the Queen of the Night Sky insists. I need to render judgment on an important claim, and she says you can help me reach the correct decision. Words of truth from the mouth of an outlander. Remarkable. The Red Exiles and a few others believe that Chodala is the Nerevarian. He's convinced them, but not me. I came here to consider my options. I fear a bloodbath if I oppose his claim. Perhaps, but I must remain impartial. If someone else reveals the flaws in Chodala's claims by comparing him to the failed Incarnates, that might do the trick. We thought the Incarnates were possessed by the spirit of Nerevar, but each had a critical flaw that made them destined to fail to fulfill the prophecy. Their spirits reside here. Yes, you should speak to the Incarnates. I see Azura's wisdom now. Take this pouch of blessed grave dust. Sprinkle a pinch upon the bones of the incarnates to call forth their spirits. Return to Aldrin after you have learned all you can. Perhaps we can curb Chodala's ambitions before they lead us to war. We need knowledge to defeat Chodala, Outlander. Listen well to what the failed incarnates have to say. The Nerevarian remains a promise unfulfilled. And I am as guilty of prideful posturing as every other failed incarnate that occupies this hall. Ask your question and let's be done with this outlander. The Nerevarian must listen as well as proclaim. I refuse to accept wise counsel, which led to the doom of my tribe and the end of my quest to embody the spirit of Nerevar. I take my scroll and remind the wise woman that wisdom ignored is ignorance. We are the failed incarnates, the Ashlanders who proudly proclaimed themselves to be the Nerevarian, but were found wanting. The Lady of Dawn and Dusk urged us to cooperate. So ask your question, Outlander. Take my scroll and help the wise woman see the live unbridled power. I thought myself the reborn Nerevar, for I was the strongest, most powerful warrior in all the land. But power alone won't save my people. In the end, it couldn't even save me.
Once I was the hope of my people, but then my claim was proven false. Now I wait, and I hope for the Nerevarian's return. State your question, Outlander, and I shall do as Azora urges. To fulfill the prophecy, I followed a path of blood and war. In the end, my path became a road that led nowhere, and I was cast down from my lofty spot. Take my scroll, and help the wise woman understand the futility of a senseless war. Mortal, let us speak. I foresaw your usefulness before you even set foot in Vardenfell. Now comes a test that will challenge your ability to separate truth from lies. You must convince the tribes that Chodala is not the Nerevarian. Doversi's wisdom outshines most other mortals. She recognizes the futility of Chodala's claim. If she rebuffs him, however, the tribes will turn on each other, and blood will flow. The staff, Sunra, it makes Chodala confident, reckless. Your instincts serve you well. Chodala's path took a dark turn. However, my sight clouds when I look too closely. So Thessil built Sunra, but he did not create it with this vile purpose in mind. You must act on my behalf and Vivex. Then go, return to Aldrun and help the wise woman reveal the falsehood of Chodala's claim. And let Saren assist you. She is my champion and a trusted friend of all Ashlanders. Use what the Incarnate shared with you. Their failures point the way toward Chodala's downfall. But beware Chodala's power. He may not be the Nerevarian, but some greater agency has lent strength to his conviction. Due to an ancient pact, I am not permitted to interfere in the affairs of Nern. Even this casual discussion pushes the boundaries of that agreement. Instead, I must work through trusted agents, such as yourself and Saren. Helping that arrogant imposter? Whatever gave you the idea that I was helping that murderer? Vardenfell must stand. Everything I do in this regard serves that single goal. Best that you remember that, mortal.
the moon and star. You've returned. The wise woman returned from the cavern of the incarnate and went right into Scar to meet with the tribes. Chodal is in there too, about to be named the Nereverine. Tell me you came back with something to stop my brother's rise to power. Ah, uh, of course. Use the tales of the failed incarnates to counter Chodala's arguments. That's brilliant. Well, except for one problem. An outlander has no status in the council. The Ashlanders won't listen to a word you say. Someone else has to present the arguments. Someone they trust. I suppose that means I have to challenge my brother. With your help, of course. You spoke to the Incarnates, not me. I'm familiar with their stories, but I'll need you to help me choose the appropriate argument to counter each of Chodala's claims. I hate opposing my brother in this. I just don't see another way. Incarnate Runso was strong and powerful. He thought that by strength alone, he could unite the Ashlanders. He failed. When Chodala proclaims his power, that's when we'll refer to this scroll's sad tale. Incarnate Adiri was a champion of my people. She defended us against great threats. But when she grew to love war for war's sake, she proved she wasn't the Nereverine. When Chodala proclaims that war is the answer, hand me this scroll. Incarnate Runso was... Incarnate Darnot thought his way was the best way. He rejected the counsel of the wise women and the Ashkans. Something Nerevar would never do. When Chodala proclaims he knows better than anyone, we'll use this scroll. Meet me inside. It's obvious that I'm the Nerevarian. Someone has stepped forward to challenge your claim, Chodala. Seren, I'm disappointed in you, dear sister. Enough. I shall hear your arguments and render my decision. Even the Outlander can see that I'm the most powerful Ash Khan. My strength alone proves that I am the Nerevarine. Chodala puts forth his great strength as proof of his claim. Give me the scroll that... Yes, that's a sound argument. Incarnate, appear! As a warrior and as an Ashkar, I was the most powerful of my age. But for all my strength, I failed my people. Don't follow my example. The Faithless Houses dare to threaten our land, but we shall meet them in battle, and I will lead us to victory. This is more nerve-wracking than I anticipated. Which scroll do you recommend to counter this argument? That makes sense. I'll try that. Incarnate, appear! I thought the path to the Nerevarian was a path of blood and battle, but my love of war was my undoing. War is not the way. These failed incarnates prove nothing! I need no counsel but my own, as befits my status as the Nerevarian! I think it's working. One more strong assertion, and that should do it. Of course. Let's see what happens. Incarnate, appear! I refuse to accept the counsel of the wise women and the Ashkans. I thought I knew best, but I knew nothing. That is not the way of the Nerevarian. 
Seren and the Outlander, their arguments have merit. Chodala, we deny your claim. You are not the Nerevarian. This proves nothing! Look how the staff protects me! I am the Nerevarian! Red Exiles slay Brother! No! Go to my hut and get my healer's sack. Now. Right away, wise one. I hate what my brother's become. <gasps> Mortal, I would have words with you. Chodala has been revealed as a failed Nerevarian, but that hasn't dissuaded him from his reckless course of action. As long as he wields the staff, he shall be unstoppable. Time is against you, mortal. Even now, Vivek, that pompous usurper, grows increasingly weaker. 
As much as I deplore him, Vivek cannot fall to Chotala's vile magic. There's another power at work here. One I can't quite put my finger on. Return to Vivek City. Do what you can to aid Vivek. And pay heed to my faithful vessel, Saren. I name her Champion of the Moon and Star. She will play a pivotal role in ending her brother's march toward godhood, if she survives. That was... exhilarating. That was... glorious. Lady Azura's presence filled me with such... wonder. She actually spoke through me. I heard everything she said, and I felt her sense of urgency. You need to return to Vivek City immediately. And help you I shall. Return to Vivek City, while I track down my brother and his damnable staff. With the Ashlanders against him, he won't have many options. After I locate him, I'll meet you, and we can find a way to break through Chodala's defenses. said I could make a fortune here now.
Magistrix Box did something terrible to the people of Salfora. Why is the tribunal silent in the face of such atrocities? Mountains are particularly active today. As a god weakens, so too does his city suffer. I know my people grow fearful. Even the arch cannon is distressed. But the energy that remains to me holds the moonlit in the sky, at least for now. So what news does my eyes and ears bring to me? How this upstart Ashlander learned to attune Sotha Seal's tool confounds my understanding. And he dares use my power? Still, your help is appreciated. Every strike and parry takes us one step closer to ending this threat and restoring my vitality. Thank <laughs> you. 